What's going on, y'all? This is y'all, the Young and the Wrestlers for April 7, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So we start off on the um, emotional and the bullshit and the uh, arguing and chips are getting bust across her motherfucking head. Still don't understand that, but okay, she got knocked across her damn head. Kevin and they wake up. Chelsea said, where's that line, bitch, at? after that? Kevin says, you know she admitted that she did this, right? That she killed Adam. Kevin still denied, 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 denied. Denied to the damn end. Somehow they happened to find a letter up there on the thing. He read that, and now he realized yeah, she, she run and she must have done something. And now I want to rescue her. I guess I would. Or I try to stick. <laughs> Kevin, buddy. She lied to you the whole entire time. She lied to you all the way back to town. This is not the first time she didn't lie to you. I really hope this the end of you and Chloe now. If she ever come back to time where it's y'all actually, I really hope you done it over with her. The way you talking, you not. You not. If she come back to time and say, get on her hands and say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you'll take her back. I, yeah, that's what they for feeling sorry for you, Kevin, because you willing to be done for her all over again, defending her to the nitty bitty end. Chelsea run downstairs. Chelsea said, where's that lying bitch at, lying psychotic bitch at? <laughs> Elster, where's your lying psychotic bitch at? She runs down the stairs. After she run down the stairs, she said, you know everything yet. She finally tell them after doing that, after Elston couldn't find them on the ground. She finally tell them that Adam, that she killed Adam, that she was talking about killing Adam, that this rain was in, his, in her dresser. That it was um that it belongs to Adam. She was involved of him dying because she got a trophy of him. Deny, deny, deny. Um, after that we got done with that. I think she disappeared again for um, think a second. Then we get Lauren and Scott. They talking about the rain. Talk about she saw this rain and she seen fire in her eyes. Scott still trying to figure out what the fuck going on. It ain't nothing for you to figure out your nosy fucker. You telling somebody else to stop being messy. You been messy this whole damn episode. Including calling yourself trying to cut somebody out, Scotty. So don't go there. Or uh, they're going to tell Devon and Hillary, Devon and Mariah to get a degree. To get a degree, go to class. Get your journalism, broadcast, and broadcast journalism thing. Bitch, people ain't got to do all that if they I want to. Like she said, she was doing that to help her friend out. So if anybody seen Chloe, they can bring her back to town. I don't know where you got your broadcasting, broadcasting, um, your journalism, um, license. And your police badge, too, telling other people not to be messy. But you had a nerve to be messy trying to get information out of Paul. Well, you can see it disconnected the victim somehow for you can put it in your little damn book. I see you for your word, Scott. You ain't smart. You gonna tell them to sit their ass down. But your ass still running around the party being nosy, trying to see what you can get and what information you can write that connects the victim. Bitch. Don't talk about nobody else or you're going to go do the science sick and bullshit too, um, Sky. I saw you. Mind y'all. Y'all know. Let's get to that. Nah, we'll do the extra shit later. Nah, let's go ahead and get to it because it all ties into the claw wind and things, Jiggy Majeri. So let's go ahead and get that on out. Then y'all notice that Abby doing a good job. Victor gave her more responsibilities. So, he had more time to spend with Nikki, so they plan on throwing this little party tonight. And nose ass face up there down in the stairs, being nose trying to wonder what's going on and whatnot. So, we find out Vitney and Nikki fit to throw a party, a family party or some mess, they said. Vit the phone won't stop fucking ranking. You already know who the fuck that is. While his phone won't stop fucking ringing and buzzing and making noises. Cause somebody on the run and they need help. Ooh, excuse me. And they need help to get out of the country again. Or to a safe haven. Or a safe nut. So basically after that, me get back to Chelsea and the wedding crew. 
Basically, they tell her that Chelsea, I mean, basically, Kevin tried to defend, um, tried to defend Chloe all over again. I'm like, oh, God, he's still dumb and stupid, still defending this goofball. I said, he must love defending Chloe. Here he go again. Funny thing about that, when Chelsea told you what was right and what was right, what told you what was right and got your ass together, you shut up real quick, didn't you, Kevin? You shut up real quick when you realized she conned your ass too. He said, "No, there couldn't be a way that um that Chloe was at the um at the boat house at that little boat house. Cause I was with her tonight." She said, "Really, Kevin? Really, really? You were with her the whole night? I mean, the whole night." Was you with her? Uh, well, um, he said, did y'all ever break up? And she said she was going to bed and whatnot. And she ever left you for a second? He started thinking them gears started turning. Mm -hmm. Remember that? I'm finna go upstairs now. I'm turning off the go upstairs. And you were sleeping on the sofa that night? Them gears started turning. Yeah, when them a couple of seconds she was upstairs. And you was downstairs calling yourself sleeping all downstairs on the damn sofa. That when she escaped. You realized that and you got played. But yet you still defending her. Talking about something. Then he gonna have nothing gonna tell Paul. Paul, she is not dangerous. She was just defending a child because Adam killed her child. Go easy on it, would you? Why the fuck should he go easy on her? Why, Kevin? Why? Why should anybody go easy on her? Like Mariah said, that's her M.O. Will somebody get the upper hand of her? Hell, she knocked Mariah in the back of the head in this game. She then bust Chelsea in the back of the head in this game. Why should she do? Why would he, Why should they take it easy on her? Not to mention she then blowed up a whole goddamn bit and trying to kill somebody. So what part of that shall we take it easy on her then? And like she doing some bank fraud, credit card fraud, or... And nor stealing in people's house or whatnot. This bitch blowing up people and bust people across the head. Hit somebody in the head in the wrong back of their head the wrong way. They're gonna be fucking dead dealing fucking around with fucking Chloe. And you want Paul to take it easy on this bitch. And she busting people across the fucking head. Bad enough they bleeding in the back of their head and gonna have a scar in the back of their head. And you want them to take it easy on them. Um Kevin, how the fuck you feel, girl? Why should they take it easy on Chloe? Why? I don't understand. But anyway, though, he's still defending her again. After he still ain't learned his damn lesson, still to this day. Then we get a little scene with Nick, tied to the middle of the episode. And basically, he... Uh, I guess Sharon might have talked him into going to the wedding to apologize to Chloe and Chelsea. Yeah, he ain't making it that wedding. So as Lord, people knocking at my damn door. So anyways, though, we get the Nick. We get a scene with him. Somehow, I think he might have pulled up his phone or whatever, that little track advice he had on Chloe car. So the dumbass not only escaped out the bus and checks across the head and escaping through the, the um, what did they say, the peasant door or something door? Not only is that, this stuff in her own fucking car and then escaped in it. With the tracking device that Nick put on there. So somehow he tracking her. So he decides to turn around and to follow her. His suspicion was right. He decided to follow her. Because now we know she to a, um, vet the, um, I don't know what they call it, a jet landing or airport or whatever the hell that is. Vit that got with all his jets and his planes there. So she decided to meet him there. Well, she decided to meet Vit there, I should say. And Vit Nick decides to, um, scoop on. So then. Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, that better all. I had a lot to sit to say, but I ain't gonna say too much. This video getting long now. So yeah, after that, the party started to wind down. Kevin tells Chelsea it's time for her to go. She go knocking at Sharon, the one in the Nick Nick here. Find out she ain't. Find out he ain't. So then we get the um. Elsa gonna take care of Bella, cause Kevin wanted to make sure she was gonna do that. 
Yes, don't forget. No. No, no, no. I'm getting in there. Okay, so then we get to um about this story. Basically, Mariah said, I want to write a, um, do a, run a story about this, about Chloe and this whole situation. And she don't want to do it like Mariah. I mean, Hillary being sneaky or whatnot whatsoever. She want to do it basically a nice, friendly kind of way, you know, to get the word out there in case you see her, you know, you'll be able to call the police so they can bring her to justice or whatnot. Why Scott jumped his ass in that grown, grown folks conversation, decided he want to put his two foot in a like he a fucking detective. Uh, you write stories for a goddamn living. You're a journalist. You ain't no police cop just like they not one. That is they shit. They ain't tired to write a story, good or bad, on they damn shit. Like my, like um, Devon told you, don't answer that. Cause all we know, we trying to get the we trying to get the facts out there. You trying to find evidence that you can use against Victor in this damn book. Like I said, um, Scott, you should have stayed the fuck out of their business. What they doing and what they talking about doing with their companies, they fucking business. You being no just calling yourself trying to get them together, talking about writing false stories or whatnot. If it is false or true or not, that is not none of your business and none of your concern. While you trying to get in their asses and then you being no to the whole fucking tired time trying to be nosy um oh okay so now we the nick in the um we the nick chloe nick still away and chloe still running around there walk around the runway waiting on victor all of a sudden she's like Finally, and he shows up, Black Knight, Black Jacket shows. Well, I guess the jacket ain't black. He got his speaker was black because he was in the black spot. Finally, you finally showed up. Victor shows up. He told to come here and put her in the little room, I guess, in the airport or whatnot or whatever that is. Nick goes in there and follows her and that's where the episode ends. But I think he knows it's Victor now that y'all at this place. Somebody finally shows up. I think he knows it's victim. I'm not for sure how smart he is, but I think he knows it's victim. I think. I ain't gonna get to... Uh, you know how to stop be having people playing dumb for a while. So I don't think he knows it's quite victim yet till he hear that actual... till he hear his actual voice, I guess. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.